Hey guys, Tracy here. I wanted to come to you all and share with you all and make a video showing the different types of showing the different hair accessories that I use to um, get my natural hair together. Okay, so I wanted to get started. My first thing I wanted to show you guys that I use is a spray bottle. I can't live, excuse me, I cannot live without one of these. I got to have one of these to moisturize my hair. I have these things in all different sizes, shapes, colors. You name it. You you say the you say you say the shape and the size. I probably got it. Okay, so I definitely use a spray bottle. I like the ones that mystifies the spray, not just you know where I want to be able to adjust the nozzle. So I love these kind with this type of nozzle to it. Okay, so that's the first thing. My second things are I like to use is applicator bottles of different sizes and shapes and sorts because this one I basically use is to. Uh, put oil on my scalp to do my deep conditioning with because it's just a straight little nozzle of oil like this. The type of oil that's in here is just rosemary along with rosemary oil along with some olive oil. I use that to put around my edges as well as to um, put on my scalp when it itch or whatever because rosemary oil is good for that. And as well as I do hot oil treatments with this as well. So I like to use this because the way it dispenses out and what I can use it for. This is basically, I use this one is when I'm washing my hair if I have um, corn rolls of some kind. This makes it easier to use this type of nozzle to uh, get the soap in between the corn rolls, especially if they're real, real small. So that is the reason why I love applicator bottles, okay? My next things I use is, um, I'm going to say is hair clips. I love my hair clips. These are very great when they come down to the shower. Washing your hair, holding hair out your way because they have big jaws and teeth where it can grab the hair and you don't have to worry about it pulling it out. Also, when we are we on the hair clips, I like my, um, my alligator clip. I think they call this alligator clip because it does hold more hair. And when it comes down to styling your hair, this is these are the perfect clips, as well as my duck bill clips. One is just larger than the other, and it holds more hair. But I like them for whatever reason to hold hair out my way. I like these; they just cute. Okay. The other clip that I like, like, like is these right here. These little itty bitty clips. A lot of people might use these far as when it comes down to dreadlocks, but you know, like holding a twist firmly after you then twist your hair that way it don't be all frizzy down at the bottom that's what these clips I use these for so they work real real good for that alright so I think that's it with the clips my next thing is when it come down to uh, using a comb oh excuse me when it come down to you oh yeah here's another clip I didn't show I like these too because it's just where you just hold hair with this you can't use it to part with like it's, like you could with the Dougbill clip but it is good for just holding hair Alright, now when it comes down to detangling and combing and washing my hair, these are just some tools I like to use. This is a paddle brush. Even though it has those little beads on there, it don't rip out my hair. And I like this one because it's smaller. Once again, guys, I have a small hand, so I like things that's kind of like small to me because it's just easy to handle. So here is my paddle brush I like to detangle my hair with. I also like to use a big teeth comb. As you can see, this is a giant comb, okay? And this is how it looks, okay? Um, and here are just a few combs that I just keep at my disposal. This is one I also use is too after washing my hair. If I want to style it while wet, I can use this to part with as well as the comb with. I don't have a rat tail comb uh, right now, but I use those as well, especially the one with the little silver tip. I use it that. Okay, and I also have a, um, a blue pick. Hold on. I like these as well to uh, pick out my hair and comb with because they are plastic, durable, easy to use. I also like the picks with the steel teeth. Uh, a lot of people say don't use them, but I don't see no fault with them. So I just, you know, I do what I do, okay? I also love my plastic bags when they come down to deep conditioning my hair, hot oil treatments, the uh, greenhouse effect. I love my plastic bags. Alright, the next thing that I really, 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 really do love is my shower cap. Alright, I like like them. Like if I want to jump in the shower and take a shower without wetting up my hair, I'll put this on. Or then it also works great if I'm doing a deep conditioning of some kind and I'm in the shower, I can use this to put over the plastic cap. So I have a purple, a lavender purple, and I also have light blue. 
as well, yeah, of shower caps, okay? The next thing I like to use when I speak about deconditioning or hot oil treatment, if I have to make a run outside the house or somewhere and um, I can't find my beanie or whatever I want to put on my head and I have this available, I like to use this. This is what they call a hair, hair wrap. And you just take this, you usually use this to dry your hair off with, but I really, after my hair got a certain length, it was like this thing had started to pull my hair, so I didn't like that. So what I would do is use, what I do now is just use it to put over the plastic bag to um, secure it in place, okay? So this is how it looks, alright? And um, this is like the little packaging that it came in. It was like, I got a pink one. And I had got a white one, all right? And I got these from Dollar General, so I'm not for sure if they still sell these because they was on clearance then, and it was at a cheap price, so it was not for the $2 that I paid for this, okay? But that's basically what I like to use this for, and it'll show you right there on the thing how to use it if you're going to use it to dry your hair, okay? So I like these things for that, all right? So my next things that I like when we speak of detangling, detangling, detangling. I love this little thing because it has a finger grip where I could put my hand into it as well as this one is the same and it has a grip where I can put my finger into it and use it to comb through my hair uh, fast and this one especially fast because it has bigger teeth so I really really love this one okay and I just like this one because it's easy to just grip the ends of my hair and just comb 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 because I'm able to hold and have a grip on this. It's like I'm in control, okay? So that's the reason why I like these to do my hair, okay? To detangle my hair with. Alright, next thing, um, let me see. I'm trying to make this video fast because I don't want my battery or whatever to run out and I wasn't done. But I like to use these. These are the uh, scrunchy bands or whatever, outchless bands that don't have a little steel piece in the back. As you can see, it's not, alright? I don't have none of these out and available, but this is a new pack. But I like using these in my hair to hold my hair ponytails and what and such. Alright, I like these right here because they are on a thick side. And they are goodie products too, alright? I use these sometimes to wear as a a band or a bracelet or whatever, but I mainly like to use these for headbands and this, I mean not headbands, but like whole ponytails. And this what this is also, you just take it and fold it to your desired length and you can rock it whatever way you want. I use these to really cover my bun with, that's what I like these for. Okay, so moving right along, my next thing is I love, love, love tuck combs, okay? This is just a pack I had just purchased not too long ago. As you can see, they are $1. I got them from my local beauty supply store. They are the flexible ones, so I really, really love these because I could wear them like forever and don't have to worry about my head being hurting. Okay, but I like them small as well. I had got these from my um, uh, beauty supply store as well, uh, but they are on that hard plastic size, so it's like I can't really do too much with these unless um, you know, it's a style that I'm not going to really be wearing for a long period of time, you know, because after a while, this plastic will start hurting my head, irritating me, and I have to take it out, okay? But I love the tuck combs. They're good for great protective styles, okay? While we're talking about protective styles, we definitely got to get ourselves some of these, okay? The hair pin and the barber pin. Just make sure that they got that little round ball on there and you good to go, okay? Now, we all know, I don't know if you know or not, but Goody is the number one brand when it comes down to these things because a lot of these other brands, they'll get old and the paint will start peeling off of them or the little balls will start falling off. When that happens, if you know them only kind that you can get, when that happens, hey, just time to toss them. It's garbage, okay? So because if you use them, and they'll start ripping your hair out. So you don't want that, and I know you don't want that. So, you know, you want to make sure that they have uh, that little ball on the end of them. If not, they garbage, okay? So I also like, too, is the long bobby pins. I love these bobby pins because they hold more hair. They're thicker type of steel and it's just you can easily get the job you can get the job done much faster I got these from my local beauty supply store and they were like a buck but it was different uh, sizes in here as well but these are just the two that I have not used off of this card yet <laughs> so and this is the brand Diane so like I said once again this is a pretty good pen because they stout and sturdy but after a while the paint will start peeling off of these jokers okay so then there you have it. But I love them because they get the job done and they're just a much bigger pen. Alright, so the next thing I want to get to is these things. I love these things right here because I can use these 
for holding my rocking my wearing my puffs. I could use these for um, holding ponytails for so much. Okay, and they are the ones too. Also, they don't. They are ouchless. They don't have the little steel backing into them. So I love these headbands like this. But after a while, they do get annoying. You know, you start feeling that headache coming on. So it's time to push it on over to the side. And a lot of times when I do um, push that over to the side, I use it as a stocking as well to hold my to rock a puff. But I had a, one stocking, but it was so out colored. It was like a real bright, bright color. Um, to where I just didn't want to show that, <laughs> but I do wear that. But I will take a couple of these and put over the stocking so that way the stocking don't be seen. But if you just got super duper hair and you just don't want to wear the stocking, you don't want to even do these bands because they get on your nerves, you can use this thing right here. This is like what they call a headband, too, and it's just a long strip of satin cloth, okay? And this is what it looks like, all right? So you could wear it. You know, like if you want to take your edges and slick them down and then just want to top your whole head, then you could use something like this. This will work out just fine for you. And they come in all different colors. Here's the colors right here on the back of the pack. So they come in all different colors that you can get. So that's really what this is. I know I was watching somebody's video and they used this to do their puff with. So I really thought this was a cool idea. Uh, I had to go jump on that bad wagon, so I went and got one. So this is what it looked like, okay? And like again, I said, they also, it's also good to slick down your edges as well if you didn't want to top your whole head. All right, another thing we all know is just the bomb diggity when it comes to going to sleep. We got to have our bonnets, okay? Uh, we got to have our sleep cap. But that's what it is, ladies, a sleep cap. It is not an accessory like a beanie where you wear it outside and think you just, you know, the bomb diggity. Because you're going to be like, somebody going to be like, wait a minute, you're supposed to be in the bed, right? Sleep? No, I'm just playing. But anyways, if you want to rock this like this, I would suggest, see this beanie that I have on my head? I do have a bonnet on up underneath there because I do not want this um, beanie to be on my hair because it's cotton. So here's the bonnet that is up underneath there, all right? So that's the one that I wear for my beanie. That's the only way I wear it outside the house, okay? That's it for the bonnet. And once again, they come in all different colors too, all right? So... There you go. Now, satin scarf. You know, we can't live without that, ladies. We've got to have this to tie our hairs up and keep that hair together when we got whatever style it is that we want. This is just a square. As you can see right there, it'll show you a 30-30 square. I guess you can see that. I'm not sure. I hope. Um, but that's really what it's 30 length, 30 width. And it's just one big old square that you can use to tie your hair up with that night. Also, another thing that I didn't, I'm not able to really show is definitely if you don't want to tie your hair up at night and you just want to lay down and go to sleep, make sure your pillow has a satin pillowcase on it or a satin sheets on your bed. But I would definitely suggest a satin pillowcase, which is yeah, a little bit more cheaper than the sheet set. Okay? So that is another thing. And I also love these things right here. This is what I call the ladies' uh uh, wave cap because it don't have the flap on the back of it like how the guys have that long flap be right here but the ladies is not like that so I also wears this to sleep as well alright so um, another thing too that I almost forgot to mention is definitely when we come down to styling our hair here is our famous banana clip so I got one that look like this then I have this one which this one I say right here is your more one that you could wear in your hair because it's flexible, it's bendable. So it'll bend as your head bend, you know, you don't have to worry about changing. But this right here is like basically like for style purposes, something you just go to wear one time or whatever and you're going to take it about your head. This is basically the same thing, but this one is a little bit more better than this one when it comes to sleep. And you, it almost is like this because it's kind of on the flexible side too. But I love, love, love my banana clips to do my little tuck and pin styles in sometimes, okay? So, yeah, and the next thing I really, really, really almost forgot about. We got to give a shout, I have to give a shout out to Kim A Tube when, excuse me, I have to give a shout out to Kim A Tube when it comes down to these things because these things is just the bomb. These little flexible goodie barrettes, okay? These are the ones that I have, alright? 
these are the ones that I have and I love 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 these barrettes why I love these barrettes so much because they are just that they are just all plastic no metal anywhere and they are easy to sleep in too I could have this in the back of my head and lay it on the back of my head and it do not hurt me at all so yeah you definitely want to invest in some of these they are kind of pricey I'm not going to tell you no story you're looking at about two to three dollars maybe four but at least go in there with a good five but I got mine from like Walgreens and um uh and I, that's how much and I had also got some more from Walgreens I'm going to show you what they look like they are like on this level okay so they're kind of like a little bit skinnier than this one right here but it's all the same thing it's a flexi barrette as you can see it says outless flex so these are your ideal barrettes when you want to do like protective styles and such because I'm telling you and these barrettes right here these are the ones that Kim A2 uh, is basically her signature barrette okay so I love 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 these little bitty barrettes they are very very just helpful at just very very helpful I love them okay so I think that is about it and I like these little things here too I just think they're just cute for like like if you do a like twisty in the top of your head or something flat twist these will be cute to put at the top or something so I like these too alright so I think that just about wraps it all up and those are my basic hair accessories that I use this on a most of the time frequent time basis but here is something also I wanted to share with you guys this also is a great pen to use to pin your hair up with as well it's all plastic you don't have to worry about as far as like with the metal the little balls coming off of there this don't even have balls but it's all plastic but you do have to kind of like be careful with how much hair you put into these because you can't break them but they are a great investment too you can get these out of Sally's or but these are scrunchies and I had got these from Walgreens but Sally sells the ones that's called good day pins alright and it was another thing I know someone had made a, a video about this which is called a French comb these are great tools also to use to put in your hair as a tuck and pin style this thing right here I think is better for someone who got you know super duper long hair I really don't find a need for this right now but I just thought this would be great to add into there because my hair is about to be getting to that length to where I might end up needing one of these soon okay to where these right here are going to start causing me problems so I just wanted to throw that in there too but that is it I want to thank you all so much for watching if there's any co any questions about anything please post them in the comment section of this video but until the next vid I want to thank you all so much for watching and I want to wish you all a blessed and wonderful day happy uh, have a safe and blessed weekend and keep God number one in your heart, soul, and mind. So until the next bit, stay blessed, beautiful, and peace. Bye.